long live the king coming soon Yeah I went ahead and asked God for forgiveness. All right, so now we're back in downtown LA. My boy Jamel is gonna come over right quick. And we're gonna make some delicious dishes with this fish. We'll see my free. What up? All right, so what you got? You know, some of the essentials right here. You know, you gotta have a knife kit. You gotta have a nonstick pan. If you're gonna be doing some serum. <laughs> so what are you thinking? What are we going to be doing today? We're going to do a flatbread and salad with a ponzu dressing with a seared ahi on top. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're going to do a little hearts of palm salad. Some hearts of palm salad. Pick them out an apple slaw. Okay. With some seared ahi too. That sounds delicious. Let's do this. <laughs> Cook it down, cook it down. You know that I cook it down, cook it down. Every time I come around. So we got the belly, and then we got a couple bags of fillets. Okay. 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 That's what's up. Can you work with that? Fish out. You ready to grub, Hannah? Yeah. It's starving. Can your man cook? No. Hater. <laughs> gonna make the sauce. We're gonna posterize it. Gonna what? <laughs> We're gonna blend it up. Okay. You know? The fish? No, the sauce. The sauce. You know, we got some squeeze bottles. Everybody needs squeeze bottles. <laughs> I'm cutting some jicama. And this is gonna be used in the slaw. Hearts of palm, green apple, and some red cabbage. Make it down, cook it down. You know that I cook it down, cook it down. Every time I come around. I just bought the house, put the pin on it. No rent, couple hundred cash spent on it. Cook it down, cook it down. You know that I cook it down, cook it down. Every time I come around. We're just making a little sauce, you know. I'm not gonna get too crazy. This is the ginger from your local Asian Mart. Whole peeled garlic. Bam. So we got some garlic. Ponds is a little like more citrusy. Mm -hmm. It's all about getting a balance of flavors. You don't have like red wine vinegar. See, that's something. That's something you should know. Yeah. Shining like a star with your head in the clouds and somebody shoot you down Hands on the ground, back against the wall Tell me who you call with no one else around Lights, camera, Lights, camera, action Lights, camera, action Lights, camera, action Give your apples a little squeeze of lemon And I'll keep them from going brown That's your tip of the day <laughs> What? What? Damn, fool. Should time lapse that. <laughs> so what are we doing now, Jamal? So I'm dicing up some shallots. You know, we're talking about how the green onions are strong, right? The green onions are strong. You know, and like, and you're asking me about like, it's what is this for? Is it for the fish? You know? Uh-huh. But like, we ain't trying to put that fish. You Wait, know? bring that back. We're trying to let the fish speak for itself, you know? I mean, this is fresh caught yeah. fin tuna, you know? Let the fish speak for itself. Let the fish speak for itself. That's a good point. Yeah. All these little sauces and whatnot are just to kind of try and amplify that fish. Right. Yeah. Ready to do this or what, man? Hello there, Mike. What up, D-Block? I got the stuff. <laughs> what do you got? What do you got? Got some of that fine CVS, fine red wine vinegar. You know, that's... That's that fine red wine vinegar. You know that. That's the stuff. Our friend Mike just showed up. Let's go get him. <laughs> hey, who hey, ordered hey, hey. the fine red wine vinegar? <laughs> hey, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, stop! Okay. Oh. How's it going? Good. How's it going for you? Spare no dollar. None. No, no expense, man. No expense spared. <laughs> Regina, you know, Regina. I think in, um, you know, well, Mike came through with the red wine vinegar. So we 
got some sriracha, you know, we got a little sriracha, we got a little spice. We got some garlic, we got some shallots, we got some like, red wine right there, and some olive oil. A little bit of salt, and um, that's your vinaigrette right there. Oh, we got some brown sugar in there too, you know, to balance out the, the heat with like, oh, some man. sweet. Can you uh, crib walk? <laughs> so let me see what you got working in here, my man. <laughs> the sauces are all done, you know. The sauces are done. Mm -hmm, the sauces are all done. We got a soy ginger sesame glaze. All right. And this is our sriracha honey, our sriracha brown sugar and red wine vinegar dressing. Oh, wow. All right. You guys already put that red wine vinegar to work? Yeah, for sure. Damn. For sure. So, we're, we're, doing, we're doing well. But what do we got to do right now? We got to get these ovens cranking, you know? <laughs> With the broiled fish, you know, just a little bit of salt, you know? I'm thinking maybe this bamboo sea salt. Yeah. You know? And the belly is a really fatty part, it's a of, the tuna. Fatty part of the tuna. So there's a lot of flavor. Mm, it's delicious. It's the best part. It's the best part. Salmon belly, tuna belly, all kinds of belly. Pork belly, can't go wrong. You know? Jelly belly. Hey, how many Dodger games have we gone to? I don't think I've been to any Dodger games with you guys. Right? I've been to a couple with you. Yeah. You have? Yeah, remember the time we were in the parking lot? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But as friends, I mean, we know each other for how long? That's, I guess I the question is like, how long have we all lived in LA at the same time? It's true. Right? There was a lot of time in when you were seasons. downtown. Mm -hmm. Well, you were downtown. I was downtown. When did you come to USC? At 2002. 2002. 2002. So that was the beginning of our three relationship. Right. Mm -hmm. That's how it got to work. 2002. So 10 years, and this is the first time we're going to a Dodger game. Again. Well, they, the Dodgers have sucked for these past 10 years. They this haven't really true. done much. Yeah. And I live literally right down now. the block Correct. from Dodger Stadium. Yeah, you used so. to be in HB. Right. But so we'll walk to Dodger Stadium in, after dinner, after we eat, if it ever, if it ever happens. gets cooked. That sounds so weird. Yeah. I mean, who walks in LA, you know? But it, it, it would Nobody be cool. walks in LA. Walking in LA. That one always plays on the radio at work. You know? That'd be a dope transition. So Jamel and I and Mike went to USC together, and uh, that's how we know each other. And it's it's very cool that Jamel went to cooking school. Yeah. You decided to go to Cordon Bleu Cooking School, mm -hmm. pursue your dreams. I did. And now did. you are cooking at a very hip and cool restaurant. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's actually pretty a microbrewery. Yeah. You don't want to confuse the two. A gastropub, if you would. Yeah. I mean, no need to brag. I'm sorry. <laughs> At the York. At the York. At the yes. York. The York. And the York's cool? York. It's cool. It's very cool. You know, good people, you yeah. know? Interesting clientele. I do the specials. Come by. Well, what was today's special? I did a chicken cutlet. I marinated the chicken, chicken breast, thinly sliced. I marinated it in milk. With some Cajun seasoning, some garlic, some salt, pepper. When it comes to the breasts, you know? is it, does it matter if they're big or small to, to maneuver around in? Cooking times. Mm. You know, the bigger the breasts, the longer the cook. You know. I didn't rhyme. I know. <laughs> the bigger the breasts, <laughs> the better the best. <laughs> We're about to do this pork. Oh no no. <laughs> I don't know, I've never really worked with tuna belly before. What? <laughs> and you're just telling me this now? <laughs> what do you think of the yeah. meat? I mean, let's smell. We gotta give it yeah, the smell the test, you know? Like we did our music videos, like... Before. Smells like nothing. That means it's good. Don't miss this jet ho. 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 Talking dead life to the next life. We got some thick skin in these cookies. So now we're just gonna season this up and then we're gonna drop it on this, get it in the broiler, get it ready to cut. This is this will probably take us like 20 minutes. Friends little deck. Oh, that's cool. That's gonna be amazing. This is like freaking sushi grade tuna right here. This is fresh out the ocean. Yeah, man, this is prime time. All right, now let's get the seasoning.
Yeah, so I'm making a pokey, which is a bunch of little pieces of raw fish, and then throwing sesame oil, throwing some bean sprouts, a couple of other ingredients. Really, Derek? What? You're not, gonna put a pup, you're not gonna put a pup in your bathroom, and you're gonna keep this big, giant tub of freaking soap right there. Tuna's what's for dinner. Okay. Might need a little more seasoning. This is my guess, but. Wow, that tuna is wonderful. And all the different textures with the green beans and the fermented beans and the tuna and the okra. seared bluefin tuna with a jicama red cabbage, daikon radish, and um, parts of palm. Nice. With our citrus, with our ponzu vinaigrette, with the red wine vinegar, yep. Oh, what? It's gonna be a little bit of Delicious. Yeah. It looks so. delicious. Let me try this one. That's amazing. <laughs> First of all, it's amazing. The way that the textures play off, they dominate in the beginning. Okay. The contrast, you got the, the silky, smooth, bluefin tuna mm -hmm. surrounding, was that, three or four different types of crunch? Mm -hmm. So your, ma your mouth has to take all that in first. Okay. And then it's nice, the tuna taste is great, and then you get to the outside of the sear for that little spice kick. Mm -hmm. okay. That's amazing. Yeah, hey. Thanks, Mike. Delicious. What do you think, Hannah? I don't have any idea. What do you think? It's good? It's good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's got like a like a kick is the end. <laughs> Words can describe it. This is with everything, the sauces and the seasoning. Right. Contrast the textures, we got spicy sweet. Wow. This was delicious. Awesome done. This was fun. I just wanted to say thank you to my friend Jamel for taking the time to come over and cook us this delicious meal. But we need a grub, because yeah. we got a game to go to. Yeah, most definitely. Thank you for posting us, Darren. Thanks for catching that tune. Thanks for watching. And you guys tune in for the next adventure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.